Okay, um, I must apologize for the low quality of this video, but this is a bit improvised. So, we are looking at the MIDI messages that Reaper sends to a control surface, in this case, the Behringer X-Touch. So, what I've done is used um, Loopback MIDI, which is a freeware that allows me to create a virtual um, MIDI port. And I've called it uh, X-Touch Loopback Out. Um, maybe I should have called it In. It doesn't matter. Um, so, this is Renoise, which has a... Let me focus here. Renoise, which has a kind of a MIDI log, but I can't copy paste from it, and that's the whole reason of this video. I didn't find another solution than filming the screen. And we're gonna launch Reaper and see what messages Reaper sends through MIDI. Okay, so let me focus on this. So there's a bit of everything. The in red that was um, CZX exclusive messages and it does repair does that only when starting and quitting the program so we can ignore it. Now we have all a bunch of control changes which are um, repair updating the state of the controller because it was just uh, started now. So, and now this is the master feather in, in Reaper, and here is the master feather on the X-Touch. I will move this around with the mouse, and we'll see what MIDI messages are sent. Um, yep. So, those those in uh, light blue are um, pitch bent messages and they are moving the fader and as you can hear the fader is noisy because the sweeps are too cantized Reaper sends um, a, a, a fader update uh, every 15 milliseconds it can't really do better on my computer, and that's not enough for a smooth movement, as you can hear. Now you can also see that in darker blue, there are other updates, mes update messages. I don't know what they are for, I suppose display and other lights. But they, they are not really in the way of the fader movement data. It's just the data itself that is too quantized. Um, I'll try, I, I don't know how much I can zoom in. Yeah, but you can see that the pitch band data is sent in the right order. There is uh, no jerkiness in the, there is no jerkiness in the, 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 val the order of the values. It, it's just that they're too, too quantized, too far apart, I guess. Um, now let's try starting Reaper. Let's press, press play here. And here in white, there was some start message, start message, I guess. But as you can see, yes, it, it, it updates more often, but it, it, it doesn't, I, I don't see a clock in there. It's, yeah, it's weird. I don't see a clock uh, anyway. Oh, but that's it. It actually doesn't update more often than this. And that's not normal. What's, what could be the problem? Let me see. Oh yes, look at this. Update frequency. One earth, one hertz. Yeah, that's 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 a mistake. I said every fifteen. So this mistake should be like fifteen milliseconds here, not 
uh, sorry, 15 hertz. When I said when I said 15 milliseconds, I was wrong. I meant 15 times per second, and it should be 15. That was only uh, one update every second. This tells us one thing: is that the refresh rate doesn't affect fader refresh because. Um, the fader was still smooth enough, well, not smooth enough, but smoother than once per second. Now we apply this and we can see that indeed the clock messages now, they, they are streaming continuously. See? That's much better. And when we do this, now I will move the cursor around the fader in Reaper and yes, there seem to be some interlacing of messages, which doesn't make the fader's, the fader's jerkiness any better, but it doesn't make it worse either. So the problem is not that. <clears throat> okay, let's stop Reaper. And now I will show you one last trick. This is, uh, whoa, this is uh, a tool. This one is not free. It's called Bohm's B O M E Bohm's MIDI Translator, and you can intercept uh, a stream. No, as a matter of fact, you can't intercept a stream. You need a, a virtual port in order to do that. I did the virtual port in uh, loop MIDI, but you could do it in BOM as well. It can do virtual ports too. Anyway, there are here, you can see nine rules. Those nine rules are for the nine channels, for nine faders. Um, and on each channel, the rule is to, um, I'll try to show it to you. The rule is to intercept um, pitch bent messages. Here you see um, E0, that's a pitch bent on channel 0, and then PP, QQ, that's just uh, placeholders for uh, bytes. I don't care uh, about the value. Um, and that's incoming. And of course, outgoing, nothing is outgoing, which means that this, the pitch bent messages will be intercepted and stopped right there. Now, now this set of rules is unchecked. And that means when I move the fader in Reaper, the fader is actually moving on the X-touch. Now, if I select this set of rules, I'm trying to get a, a, a good focus here. Yeah. Um, up, select, uh, select it, check it here. Now, when I move the cursor around, the fader, sorry, oh! It doesn't move the actual fader anymore. But, and yet, in the other way around, it's still working. See? That's working. And that is the solution I have found for noisy motors. It's just that I can't make them less noisy, but I can completely disable them when I need the controller to be silent. And well, that's my solution for now. Call it a walk around.